Bishop. Bishop is a class with a pretty good burst, fantastic party support, and decent training abilities. The toggles for Bishop are as follows. Magic Guard, Divine Protection, Teleport Mastery, Teleport Boosts, Righteously Indignant, and Mana Overload. Righteously Indignant lets you switch between Vengeance and Benevolence mode. During Vengeance mode, you have Angelic Wrath, an IED debuff, Triumph Feather, a buff that summons attacking feathers, Fountain of Vengeance, a place down summon, and Blood of the Divine, which is a burst buff. During Benevolence mode, you have Heal, which restores HP, the Spell, which removes magic effects and abnormal statuses, Holy Fountain, which restores HP to any party member that presses up on it, and Holy Water, which is basically another Holy Fountain but with Holy Cups. The general buffs are as follows. Advanced Blessing, Holy Symbol, Maple Warrior, Bahamut Summon, and Triumph Feather. Unreliable Memory and Mind Delve are used exclusively for selecting and receiving another usage of Infinity. For movement, you have Teleport going in all four directions, Mana Wave, which is your up jump plus ghetto blink. You can hold your jump key again after the up jumping to slowly descend. The main boost nodes for Bishop include Angel Ray, Big Bang, Genesis slash Triumph Feather. And your secondary ones are Bahamut, Heaven's Door slash Fountain of Vengeance, and Heal slash Angelic Wrath, Bossing. Currently, the ideal weapon for Bishop is a staff and a shield. Your main spammable attack is Angel Ray, which has party heal effects and debuffs the boss. Peacemaker is casted off cooldown. It heals and provides a small damage buff to members in its area. You have two options with Peacemaker, let it fly through or detonate early by pressing it again. In bossing, you want to practice switching between Vengeance Mode and Benevolence Mode. Vengeance Mode is used for Burst, Feather Buff, Fountain Dimensions, and Angelic Wrath debuff. In contrast, Benevolence Mode will be used for Dispel, Healing, and Survival. Make sure to summon Fountain of Vengeance every time it disappears, and don't forget to recast Angelic Wrath debuff every 60 seconds as well. You have one fake iframe, ethereal form, that allocates damage to MP. Holy Magic Shell can be used to restore HP for your whole party and gives 15 shields. Heaven's Door protects your party members from HP death once. Resurrection can be used to revive party members within range and give them 8 seconds of iframe and a 30 second damage buff. For your 5 hypers, you have Holy Magic Shell, Persist and Enhance, Advanced Blessing, Ferocity and Boss Rush, and Holy Symbol Item Drop. Your burst relies on utilizing the last 10 to 20 seconds of infinity since it has higher final damage towards the end. Depending on your buff duration, your burst timings will be slightly different. That said, here is the general order for the skill cycling during your main 3 minute burst. Infinity, Epic Adventure, MW Blessing, Benediction, Angel of Balance, AB Link, Weapon Jump Ring, Blood of the Divine, Heaven Door, 8 Charges of Divine Punishment, note that Divine Punishment takes 68 seconds for a full recharge. Your half burst consists of AB Link, Heaven's Door, and 8 stacks of Divine Punishment. Training Vengeance Mode is always used for training. Your main 3 hypers are Holy Symbol Experience and Item Drop, Advanced Blessing Ferocity, and the other 2 points don't really matter so place them however you want. Your main soundable attack for mobbing is Big Bang, Peacemaker and Genesis can be casted off cooldown, Divine Punishment can be casted on each charge as well. Fountain of Vengeance is basically a Lucid Soul summon that you should use. If you're in a higher level area map that you can't one shot in, you can alternate between the two infinity skills. If they're both on cooldown, you can use Goddess Blessing, Epic Adventure, Benediction, Angel Balance, and Blood of Divine together. Now if you're trying to get to level 200 and beyond and you don't know where to train, be sure to check out this next video that showcases some great training maps for leveling.